Good morning students. In this video, we will uh, see how to solve a type 2 problems in a projection of lines. See, in a type 1 problem, is the one where uh, they will specify the true length of a line and they will specify one end distance and they will specify the true inclination with respect to the HP and BP. And uh, they will ask us to uh, find apparent length and uh, apparent inclination. That's a type 1 where it is directly uh, we have a true length, we are supposed to get a apparent length. And uh, to get a apparent length from the true length, uh, we are supposed to drop a vertical line till the lower end of the other way. Then uh, we are going to drop an arc. So, how exactly we are going to do that? Uh, we will see. The type 2 problems are where they will give apparent length and uh, they will give a distance of uh, both the ends with respect to VP and HP and they will ask us to find the true length and true inclination with respect to the HP and VP. Uh, such a kind of uh, problem, we are going to take a uh, problem number 5 in which uh, uh, it says there is a top view of a uh, uh, line PQ is 70 millimeter and makes an angle of uh, 60 degree with the XY line. That means, so whenever uh, we are going to solve a problem, uh, maybe in a previous videos and all uh, I have told, so we are supposed to take the first is a true length whether they have given it or not the first one then we are supposed to look back for the apparent length that's a top and uh, front view then we are supposed to look for the true inclinations then we are supposed to look for the apparent inclination then we are supposed to look back for the end points what is the distance they have uh, given with respect to the end points that's a a and b okay then uh, at last we have one thing called distance between end projector normally most of the time uh, they specify the distance between end projector what is that uh, we'll see as we move on uh, I will uh, show like what are the things uh, normally uh, specified in the problem. Okay, in general, so these are the data which we need to look back or uh, explore in the problem statement. For example, here in this problem, what he has given here is so they have specified the top view length the top view length i said it is nothing but a apparent lens okay so in the apparent length we will be having a two ways one is a front view and one is a top view so here they have specified top view is 70 millimeter and uh, in the apparent inclination again we will be having with respect to the hp and with respect to the pp okay so here he has specified with respect to the vp it is 60 degree that is what we uh, specify it as a beta okay so next what else they have given they have given uh, end q is 10 millimeter in front and 30 millimeter above so say now i have taken it as a, a default a and b so let me just change it to p and and q okay so this is 30 millimeter with respect to the hp comma 10 millimeter with respect to the vp so this is what he specifies uh, 10 millimeter in front, 30 millimeter above the HP. And they are told the difference between the distance P and Q above the HP is 45 millimeter. Suppose I have uh, two points, okay. Say, for example, uh, say the P is here and the Q is here, the distance between these two points, okay, the distance between this. 
and this is 45 this is okay it is not with respect to the x y length it is difference between the p and q okay that is what uh, they are going to uh, specify okay so be careful so uh, maybe say for example if you take a point uh, problem number three okay so here the point uh, end a b end a is 20 mm above 30 mm in front and the end other b is 60 mm above and 45 mm in front he is specified with respect to the x y limit sir. okay but here he is specified with respect to the other point not with respect to the x y limit so only one change you can observe with respect to the uh, type 2 problem okay so there is an issue with the charger so the battery is popping up so just ignore that one so once uh, we note down all these data okay so we can start the problem here so let me just delete this here so we are supposed to find what is a, a true length okay so we are supposed to find what is a front view length and we are supposed to find the inclinations with respect to that one. and the last data they have not given so you just ignore it okay so now to, to start with the problem let me just take a line always uh, wherever you take a line it should be continuous and 0.13 okay so from the x y line if i start uh, they have given a q okay. it need not to be like a p q like that now here it is a reverse one q p it will go okay first we are going to locate the q point it is uh, 30 millimeter above the hp fine right click then come down end of this line 10 millimeter in front of the vp so 10 enter minus 90 enter. okay so let me just check once again so 10 millimeter in front and 30 millimeter above the hp so now take a uh, uh, go to the smart dimension so do the dimension for uh, these two ends okay now just uh, name it this one is our q dash the sub right view and this is a q or let me just zoom that in so that it will be easy for us to okay so we look at the uh, end q let's see uh, end p okay end p he has told the difference between p and q above the x y line is a 45 millimeter so let's first uh, wherever you get our reference points okay so let's have a locus line for from these ends locus line is nothing but an horizontal line imaginary line which we are going to draw it from the each end of the line so we got a two locus lines here let me just drop that with here this is locus of p dash and sorry q dash and this is the locus of q okay so let's keep these things near, near to that line okay. now uh, this whatever the distance okay from the p will be 45 so there is an option here uh, called offset okay that means uh, we can offset this same horizontal line or vertical line with respect to some distance either to the left or a right so how to use that one here so click on the offset so it here it will ask click on the element to offset so this is the element okay click on the distance so it's a 45 already it is there press enter okay now it will ask like whether you need to the top or a bottom but here you can see so both the lines are selected but we need only one okay now for a timing you just click here and right click so now you delete this one because we want only the horizontal line so now go to the smart dimension click on both the lines and drag it to the left side and keep it here it will show 45 okay or else there's a one more way so what you can do uh, offset okay so give a distance then here in the chain you select a single because we need only one line click on this one once you click here this green color will get highlighted click on that one and here if you click to the top automatically only that line will come and get offset to the 
protection limiter. If it is required, you just drag it to the left side. If not, delete and re-drop it once again. So now this line is a locus of a P dash. You just copy this with your that's a P dash. Okay, now we got a uh, three locus line and we need a one more here. Okay, locus of a P at the uh, top. Here. For that also, they have given uh, some uh, references. What is that? The length is 70, the angle is 60. So what I can do, I will go to the line and it's a apparent length. So I will go to the point 0.5 from the Q, end of the Q, okay, start a line. It is 70, enter and the angle is minus 60, enter. Okay, so now we got this one. Let's uh, uh, do the dimension first, uh, smart dimension. Click on this one, that's a, a length of that one. Go to the angle between uh, this line and this line is a, a 60 degree. Okay, so now we got the end Q. Let's say this is P1. Okay, now let's draw one more uh, uh, locus line here. I, I've told many times when you move here, when the alignment indicator is on, so you can just see the dotted line. When you get that one, you can just pass through that one and drop it. That make sure that like it is intersecting with the, this one. Okay. So if this is a top here, sorry. So this should be a P. Okay. So keep it here. Now these are the data. So what at all they have given? You just represent all the data. Now we'll see. See this is a apparent length. We are supposed to get a true length from this one. How to get that one? So first is arc, arc by center point from Q and from P, arc till the lower end here, okay, then a straight line, 0.13 line till the dead end, till the dead end, here. Now join this one to the Q dash. So now this will represent the true length of the line. So now the true length thickness should be always 0.35, change it to 0.35, okay. So now go to the smart dimension, click on this one, drag it a little bit outside, okay. Then go to the angle between, measure the angle between this and this. So it is 33 degree and the length is 83.22. I hope it is clear now, right. So once, uh, whenever they have given the apparent length, arc you are supposed to draw then the uh, straight line straight vertical line till the end of the other end then join that one okay, the same thing we have discussed in the previous videos there's a type 1 problem where they will give a true length a straight vertical line till the locus of a uh, lower end then arc okay so if you need you can show the direction as well uh, we have moved from year to year then move from here to there. Okay, so if you zoom, you can see so there is an arrow mark there. Okay, so let's zoom this one properly. Once this one is done, we are supposed to drop the true length in the top here. How to get a true length in the top here? Say whenever we have an apparent length here, okay, so that's a top view or a front view. So we know like the top and front view will the end of these will lie on a same line. You can just draw one vertical line till it intersects with the locus of P. Okay, the apparent length will lie on a same vertical line. Okay, so now once it intersects your locus of a P dash, now take a line with a point by join from Q dash to the P dash. Okay, now go to the naming here. So this will be our P dash. And this will be our P1 dash. Okay, now go to the smart dimension, measure this, and go to the angle between. Measure this. Okay, now again we got a uh, front view here. How to get a true length in the top view? So arc from this end, this end, till here. Then take the line thin point one three only. Then take a straight line with a point one three from this side, drop it till the 
end of a locus of a P. We'll join this with to Q. So change the thickness to the 0.35. Okay, and go to the angle between measure the angle between this line and this line. Okay, then smart dimension, click on this one and drag it outside. And see now the length here 83.22 that's a true length and if you see the same true length here it is a 83.22 that means you are supposed to get a, a true length same above the x value as well as below the x value so once you to get those two then the what are the problem you have done is a proper okay so this is how exactly we are going to solve the problem when they uh, specify the uh, apparent length and ask us to find the true length. Now you just uh, go on filling here. It is uh, 83.22. Okay, here it is uh, 50, 57.01. Okay, so apparent inclination here it is uh, 52. Okay and uh, two inclinations with respect to the HP you write it is uh, 52 then with respect to the VP you write uh, it is 60 okay and apparent inclination with respect to the HP sorry it is 52 it is 33 and here it is 60, 47. Okay. So here it is 52, then it is 60. Fine. Okay, end point uh, B is not required. So now, ultimately, what is this end distance between end projector is? So the distance between end projector is. So if you go back to the smart dimension, the end uh, Q and the end P okay so this is what is called as a, a distance between end projector okay so whenever they give the distance between end projector so you can go to the offset and offset this one to that uh, given length here and uh, whenever it intersects with the locus of P and uh, the T that is the uppermost end of the any of the line so that point will represent the front view and the top view in the lines okay so that's how exactly you can uh, solve the problem say for example so this is the type 1 problem we have done problem number 2 okay so where you will specify the uh, true length okay first and the uh, true inclination then from that one we have drawn a vertical line then arc okay here we have done it in the reverse way they have specified the top view we have taken an arc then a straight line okay so if you are able to understand that uh, whatever the concept okay so then the remaining things will be fine and whenever you are writing this one okay this will not come in a printout okay you can just refer this one whenever you are doing that okay print out only the this uh, problem which is inside this area will come in the printout okay so if you are able to understand uh, uh, how to take up these many datas okay from the problem then solving a problem is not a big issue uh, in the projection of the uh, lights. Thank you.